Okay, y'all. Um, I already primed my lids and did my eyebrows and all of that off camera. Now you just see me putting a little bit of milk from NYX all over the lid. And what this is going to do is act as a base for the um, eyeshadows I'll be using because I'm going to be using really colorful eyeshadows today. Now this shade is from um, Juvia's Place and it's in the shade Ethiopia and it's a really pretty warm brown shade. I'm just going to take this to warm up my um, crease and act as a transition for the rest of the colors I'll be applying. So you want to make sure you blend that out really really good and basically pack that color on and blend at the same time so you can get a really really intense um, color payoff. So you just see me blending those colors out, I mean blending this color out the edges of the color so you can't see any harsh lines. Okay, now you can move on to the next step and this is my Technique to Brazil palette from BH Cosmetics. I'm taking that really pretty neon orange color and this is gonna be um, packed on my inner um, lid area. This is the first color of three colors I'll be using. So I want this color really, really opaque, so you're going to have to kind of like pack this on a couple times to get it really, really opaque for the color show off. Um, I decided to use my um, my flash palette to go ahead and use those colors as a base for the rest of the colors, so I don't have to pack on as much. So I'm just taking that aqua color and using that as a base, and then I'll be taking a blue shade right next to it and using that as a base. And what I'm going to do is just pack those colors on top so we can get a really, really good color payoff. And if you want, you can go ahead and blend the creams together. That'll make it easier for you when you get ready to blend your eyeshadows. But I didn't do that, so it's your choice. I want to concentrate that blue mainly on the outer V of my eyes. Just to add a little depth to the look. But I am taking that blue up just a little so I'll have some to blend over into the, uh, my crease. So I'm just taking that shade and packing that right on top of the middle shade um, because of course this is a pretty greenish ombre look. So I'm packing that really pretty blue shade right on top of that cream and it's basically giving it a really really um, opaque look without me having to pack as much eyeshadow on my lid. So as you're packing on make sure you kind of like blending over into the other colors as well so you can blend those together. I'm just doing the same thing with the um, blue. But like I said, I'm taking it up just a bit so that I can blend that over into the crease area so we can get that flawless look. Okay, now you just want to take that blue and blend it up into the crease area to soften up the edges and blend it into the first transition color that you applied. Okay, and once you have everything blended out, you want to go ahead and clean up under your eyes with the wet wipe. I prefer to use the Neutrogena in the blue pack because it gets off mascara and that um, harsh makeup or stubborn makeup that don't want to come off. So just clean up that wing a little bit and right at the edges of the concealer, just tap that to soften that up so that can blend into your foundation later. Now it's time for the lashes. These lashes I purchased from eBay. I will put the link down below. These are some really pretty mink lashes. And I'm just taking Duo and applying them on. And when I put my lashes on, I like to put them on in the middle first and then attach the ends. I find it easier that way. And I did do wing liner as well. I used NYC's liquid liner, but liquid liner is a pain in the ass. So I did that off camera. But if you guys want to see how I do my liquid liner, then just leave it down below and I'll make sure I film that in the next video. Okay, I already moisturized my skin and I'm prepping with um, Smashbox Primer, Photo Finish Primer. And now I'm going to go ahead and move on into color correcting and um, shaping my eyebrows. So to color correct, I'm going to be taking my LA Girl Pro Concealer in orange. And I'm just going to put that around my mouth area where I have discoloration at. Um, and also like my jawline, I have a little 
dark discoloration so I just want to color correct that before I apply my foundation that way my foundation will go on flawlessly and a lot of people have a problem with a concealer bleeding off into the foundation making the foundation orange if you have that problem then once you you know blend everything out like you see me doing just go over that with either a concealer the color of your skin or you can set it with a translucent powder and it won't transfer into your foundation Okay, now you see me just cleaning up the top of my eyebrows. I like to take a little bit of my foundation and mix it with a little bit of my concealer. Um, the concealer that I use is Toffee from LA Girl. I like to mix that with my foundation and I use the Fit Me foundation in the shade Coconut um, as my foundation. So I mix those two together and go over my eyebrow so I won't get that halo floating eyebrow look. You want that to be able to blend into your foundation flawlessly without leaving a white cast behind so just go a little bit darker than your um, normal concealer so I like to make sure that I leave enough room over my eyebrow like enough space enough concealer to make it easier for me to blend that into my foundation that way I don't have to pull away from my eyebrow and disturb my eyebrow so I'm leaving at least an inch of concealer over my eyebrow that way I can blend that better later on Now I'm just going to take my foundation and I use a nice amount because I do want to do full coverage today. This is a full coverage B. So I'm going to be taking that and putting that just on my face. I'm the only one to use this so I'm just putting it on my face off too. And I'm going to be taking my favorite buffing brush. This is the e.l.f. brush. It's the $6 brush. Um, I'm not sure what the name of it is. I'll put it down below. I like to use that to blend out my foundation and buff it into my skin. And when you're doing this step, take your time and make sure that you blend that foundation out really, really well. Make sure you hit those areas under your chin and your hairline, around your nose. All of those important areas that sometimes people miss when they apply foundation. So just buff that into your skin. And that's this the part I was saying where you don't disturb the eyebrows. By me leaving enough concealer on top of my eyebrows, I'm just able to kind of like blend that away from the eyebrow so I won't mess it up. If you guys like these really detailed videos like this, then just leave, leave the comments down below because I really was trying not to cut all the important edges off because you know that we have to um, take our time and do our makeup right. Makeup do not take seven and eight minutes, which is why my video is a little bit longer. I didn't want to leave out any important information for you guys. Now I'm going to be highlighting and I'm going to be using my LA Girl Concealer in Fawn. And I'm going to be taking that and highlight those important areas of my face, underneath my eyes, uh, my forehead area, bridge of my nose, over my lip, and my chin. And um, this is not as bright, so I want my highlight a little bit brighter. So I will be taking um, AJ Crimson's foundation, I believe, in 1.5. And I'm going to just put that on top of my concealer to give me a brighter highlighted look. AJ Crimson is some of the best foundations. Every time I have the money to buy his kit, I never buy it, but I promise you I'm, I got to get it. Because every time I use one of his foundations, it just reminds me of why I, like, why haven't you bought it yet? Some of the best foundation, especially for dry skin, because it has a lot of moisture in it. Okay, I'm going to be taking my Wet Beauty Blender, and I'm just going to be blending out the um, concealer 
Now right now I'm not too much worried about blending out the edges of it. I just want to spread the concealer where I want it. Basically place it down first and then once I apply my contour I'm going to blend everything together where you can't see any brush edges. Now if you don't like a bright, bright highlight like me like I have right now, you can opt out of using um, that foundation or a brighter concealer on top of your concealer to brighten it. Just go one to two shades lighter than your skin. Okay now I'm going to be taking um, AJ Crimson in 6.5 and I'm going to be using that to contour my face. It's not too, too dark but it's going to warm up my skin just enough to give me that really nice contour that I like. I'm going to put it on the temples and around the edges of my hairline, um, my jawline and underneath my, uh, I mean my cheekbone and underneath my jawline. And I'm also going to be using it to kind of round out my chin a bit. Oh, and my nose. I must have been feeling this look because I never contour my nose with creams. I always just go right into the powder because sometimes the creams give you such a harsh look and I like my nose to look naturally contoured. But um, I did really, really good with the nose contour this time. Now I'm just going to take my um, sponge and it still has my foundation and everything on it. I'm going to, I mean my highlight on it, I'm going to just use that to blend out the edges and blend everything together. And once again, I am using my sponge wet because when you use it wet, it doesn't pick up as much product and it blends better. When it's wet, it expands and it blends. So you just see me buffing everything together. So by the time I'm done with this step, everything should be flawlessly blended. You shouldn't be able to see any harsh lines where anything stop or start. Now I'm going to be setting with my favorite setting powder. I'm taking Sasha Buttercup powder and I'm going to set all those highlighted areas in place. And I like to wet my sponge when I'm doing this step as well because it doesn't leave that ashy residue behind that sometimes you get from using powder. Especially too, too much. I don't like to use a lot of powder because I'm already dry skin and basically it dries me out even more. I basically just focus on setting those areas, not baking. Now I'm doing a little bit of reverse contour and just sit underneath my contour area. That way my cheekbones look lifted and um, look raised and it gives me more of a highlighted look underneath my jawbone. That reverse contour really do brings out your cheekbones more. Now I'm going to be setting those contoured areas with uh, my favorite contouring powder and this is Maybelline Fit Me powder in Mocha which is 360. I just like to basically press that into my contoured areas to set. And then once you press it into it you can basically blend everything out later in the next step I'll be showing you. And I'm using my Real Techniques buffing brush to do that. Okay, and I'm just going to take that contouring powder and go down the sides of my nose as well. Um, to give me that more snatched look. Team no surgery nose. <laughs> um, but they'll swear up and down that you had surgery. Makeup is magic.
Okay, and this step is very important because this is going to basically tie everything together. I'm just going to take this and I'm taking the same brush that I used. Um, and I'm just going to take the powder, the color of my skin and go over my entire face. And this is going to act as basically an airbrush filter. It's going to basically go over everything and blend everything together so you can't see any harsh lines or anything. It's just going to blend everything together really, really nice. And the powder I'm using is Black Radiance powder. They have some of the best powders. They are inexpensive, around $4.99. I love them. I use them on my clients all the time. Look how flawless that looks. Okay, now I'm going to finish off my eyes. And I'm going to be taking that coral color from that flash palette. I'm going to be using that as a base for the shadow I'll be applying. Um, next, the shadow I'm going to be applying right on top of this is from Suva Beauty. Um, I just discovered this company on Instagram and they have a shitload of products and they are really, really um, nice and pigmented. Um, the color I'm using is papaya and it's a really hot orange, like neon orange shade. I'm going to be taking that and pressing that on top of my waterline into that um, base. So I just placed the Super Beauty order actually and when I get it in I'm going to be doing a video for you guys on the um, products that I bought. So you can see um, by me doing body paint and face paint and everything they have some really really good liners that dries matte and don't smudge. So when they come in I'll make sure I um, do a video for you. Okay, now you just see me doing the same thing that I did to my lid area. I'm just going to duplicate the colors underneath. Um, I'm just going to put green down, then the blue down next to it, and then the dark shade in the outer V area of the eye. I mean the outer lash line here, the bottom lash line. So I'm just duplicating um, the same steps. Um, but I used, I think I used the creams first, which is what you see me doing. And then I'm just going to press those shadows, which are the same color on top. I apologize if this video is long because I didn't think 26 minutes was that long. I didn't want to cut anything out because I wanted this, this video to be really detailed and step by step where you can really see what I'm doing. I hate when I watch a video and it be like 5 minutes long and I'm like, I know it didn't take them 5 minutes to do their makeup. Okay, I'm going to be taking my Urban Decay. I think this is in Midnight Cowboy, that gold shade of um, liquid um, glitter liner. I'm just going to be popping that right into my tear duct area to give me that glitter highlight. And I didn't show you guys, but I just reinforced it with a little gold glitter that I had on hand that I just popped right on top of it while it was still wet. Now I'm going to be taking my blush palette from e.l.f. and just putting a little bit of blush on. I'm not big on blush. I don't like too much. Just to warm up my cheeks just a bit for this look. And I'm taking my angled e.l.f. brush to do that. I'm all about saving money, honey. I don't like spending my money on too much, you know, stuff that I can get that's inexpensive. And it works. It does the same thing. Okay, the illuminator I'm going to be using is from Anastasia. And it's in the shade So Hollywood. I love this highlighter. It's like so bomb. I'm going to just... <laughs> I'm so clumsy. I'm going to just take my brush and wet it a little just to intensify the highlight. And make it pop and look more metallic. And I like to highlight, you know, above my cheekbone area. Um, down the bridge of my nose, my, over my cupid's bow. Um, I think I put a little bit over my eyebrow area and I also use it to highlight my brow bone. I don't know if I 
showed you all of the steps that I did, but I'm just telling you exactly what I used it, where I used it. And if you're wondering, this little brush I'm using kind of in a set from T Target, it's actually a Sonia Cashew brush that I use. Okay, this part is very important. When it comes to highlighting the nose, you want to be careful and keep that nose as straight as possible because it's easy to make your nose look crooked. So you want to keep that brush angled down so you can get a straight line when you highlight your nose. And I like to take a really skinny point brush that helps me keep my nose narrow as well. I was feeling this look, honey. You can tell me nothing. And after you do this step two, you want to take your brush that you used that brown first transition shade. You want to go between the highlight and the eyeshadow to make sure you blend those two together. I didn't show you that step as well. I was trying not to take the video 40 minutes at home. But yeah, make sure you do that. And then now I'm just applying a little mascara to the bottom. And I also use it at the top to press um, my lash into the false lash as well. Okay, the shaded lipstick that I'm using is from Pretty Zombie Cosmetics in the shade Sea Witch. It's just a deep royal blue shade. Really, really pretty. And I had to spice it up a little bit. So I took Artist Couture's um, conceited um, illuminator and just pop that in the center to give me sort of a, a, a metallic ombre look to it. And conceited is one of my favorite shades to use out of his collection for deeper or brown skin. It gives you such a pretty glow. Most of the brushes I'm using for this tutorial are from Target Sonia Kashuk. That's another Sonia Kashuk brush I'm using um, that came in the Knockout Beauty set, I believe, last year. Um, but I'll leave everything down below so you guys can know what I used. I'm going to set my face. To set, I think I use the NYX setting spray to um, set my makeup in place. Okay, now this is the finished look. Not the eyes, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I promise I'm going to be making more videos. You can see I have a new camera now, so I'm in there. <laughs> I'm going to make more videos for you guys. So thanks for watching. Bye.